hey guys welcome to the next data science tutorial and today in this video we will talk about pandas date time so i have a stock market data which you can see here this is the csv file and here you can see uh, the columns date and here you can see the company names are power idea pnb and so on and these are the shares values that you can see here so this is the file that I have and what I'll do first I'll read this file for that I have used here pandas as pd and then to read the csv file you are already aware we use pd.readcsv and this is the file name and here I am showing the top five rows of my data so if you will run this then here you can see these are the top five rows in my file so it is showing me the data of the top five rows and here if you see the column this date column then this is not in a date time format so if you will see the format of this data you can check by using this type tf dot date at zero index and here it is showing it is a string so this is not in a date time format so for changing this in a date time format what we will do we will use parse date so here I have used parse dates and I am applying this method on date column so this will change the format of this date column and now if you run this and here you can check the type this time it is now showing me in timestamps dot timestamp so in this way you can use the parse dates to change the format of this date column and you can also set this date column as an index so for that we will use this index call equals to date it will change the index so now my date column is the index column so in this way you can use this parse method or if you want to change the uh, indexing of your data then you can use this index column and if you want to check the index then you can use df.index and here you can see the index of your data so it is showing me this is the date which is at the top here you can see the top five values and this is the date which is there at the bottom in my data so this is giving me the indexing of my data and if you want to see the values of a particular date then you can use df and this is the date of which I want to see the values and if you run this then here you can see at this date these are the values of my data so in this way you can also see the values of the particular date and if you want to see the values of any particular month then you can use in this way so this is the year and this is the month and I want to see the values of this particular month it's uh, January 2017 and if you run this then here you can see the values of this particular month so in this way also you can see the data of a particular month and you can apply ahead with this code as well for a particular month let's say uh, I want to show the top five values only then you can use head and if you'll run this then here it is giving you the five top five values of your data so in this way you can apply head as well and uh, let's say you want to calculate the average value of any particular bank in a particular month then for that we will use mean method so let's say you want to uh, calculate the average value in June 2017 for this PNB bank then this is how we will write the code so I'll use mean method and if you will run this then here you can see this is the average value in this particular month for this so in this way you can find out the average values and uh, you can also fetch the data by using date range then for that you have to write your code in this way df and this is the date range here you can see 8 January 2017 and it will go 3rd January 2017 so if you run this then here you can see 
from 8th to 3rd so these are the values available in my data so in this way also you can use the date range method to fetch out the data and now I'll show you how we can use uh, resampling in pandas so for that let's say uh, you want to apply this resample method on this SDFC column so here I have used M this is for monthly so month wise it will resample the data and I'll calculate the average value and it will show me the top five values so it's quite simple you can see on SDFC column I am applying this resample method and this resample method I have passed this M this will calculate the average values month wise so this M stands for month here and it will show me the top five values so if you run this then here you can see so 31st July 2016 this is the average value 31st August 2016 this is the value and on September October November so this this is calculating the average value month wise here so this resample method works in this way and if you want to plot a graph then for that you just need to write percentile matplotlib in line so the reason of using this matplotlib in line here is that we haven't import the matplotlib library so you can use this in your program and if you want to plot a graph for SDFC column then you just need to write this code in this way and we'll run this then here you can see the graph and you can use a kind bar let's say you want to apply that bar here then you can use this plot and in bracket you can just pass kind equals to bar then it will show you the data like this so if you want to show your data in like this then you can use this kind bar otherwise you can also use simply a plot here so in this way you can use the plot method so this is all about how you can use the date time in pandas thank you so much for watching the video have a good day